Hey Royals, I hope you're in your confidence card the same way I am. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I mean, it is free. After all, my name is Kenyaman, aka O Kenyan, back with another video. Let's roll that tie for sequence. <laughs> So, Raz, as, we has, as you have seen by the title down below, um, it's written how to get distinctions in metric. The reason why I, I named this video how to get distinctions in metric is because I feel like there are mistakes that I have done and see other people doing that sort of jeopardize them to get the results that they can get in metric. So, I'm going to be giving you guys some of the lessons and the tips that I've learned last year as I was matriculating so that you guys don't make the same mistake that I did. Let's get into the video. By the way, um, I do have a tablet right here, which is assisting me to see the pointers that I wrote down for you guys, so that I don't go by mistake, like I don't mistake. So if you guys see me, if you guys see me, deviating and looking at this point know that i am reading some of the points that i wrote down for you guys and another thing this video it's not only for it's not only for matrix oh my god this person um it's not only for matrix if you're in any other grade this video it will really 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 help you i would add i would i, I would advise if you I would advise that you go and uh, like you, you watch it because it is gonna help you trust trust and believe that so yeah as i was saying if you are not in metric please do watch this video it's also going to help it's not only for matriculates for metrics only even if you're in universities i feel like there are some things that you can pick from this and apply into your own life this is just for an academic academic video that is gonna help like it's sort of it's an academic video that helps with any academic challenges that you might have so the first point that i have is do it for yourself the reason why i say do it for yourself we have so many people who go to school who matriculate who go to matriculate and they don't they're doing it for their parents let me tell you something that's the mistake that i've done and you end up not putting the effort or enough effort that like you end up not having the like doing like doing that academic studies you doing your academic studies to your best of your ability but when you decide and change your mindset and say i'm doing this for myself i'm doing it for myself i'm doing it for my future i'm doing it to better my life it helps you because it makes you to focus and it helps you to say, okay, you know what? Because I'm doing this for myself, let me actually put these extra steps to help myself to sustain this, to control this, to survive this thing. Because there's nothing horrible like working hard but working hard for another person. Because let me tell you something right now for free, for free, let me tell you for free, you will not succeed. The minute you start doing something and you're doing it for other people and to please other people, you won't make it. Yeah, you might go as far as possible, but also another thing also is that you might be depressed. You don't want to wake up and dread waking up. I've experienced it. I'm talking from experience. You don't want to wake up and hate waking up. This is one of the reasons why I also had realized and taken upon myself that you know what, you're not ready for university, you're not equipped enough to go to university. Take this time for yourself and prepare yourself for university because I don't want to go to university and find myself being in jeopardy because of my decision. And also, another thing, the reason why, for example, and I know I'm deviating, like I know I'm getting out of topic, but the reason why I decided to take a campaign is also because I, I, I don't want to go to university to please my parents. 
I also don't want to go to university because society says after I matriculate, I should go to university. I'm not saying don't go to universities. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is I was not ready. I am not ready to go to university. So hence I'm saying do it for yourself. I decided not to go to university because I knew that I was not ready. My parents were going to be wasting their money by taking me to universities. So in terms of my trick, I, I always advise for people, always work from grade 1 up until grade 12. Then from grade 12, you can decide like me to take a gap year. I wouldn't advise for you to drop out, out of school that, 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 um, especially if you have the opportunity and you are, you are not any in any under circumstance to stop you i wouldn't i would highly advise that you stay in school up until matric then after matric if you decide not to go to university have a proper plan i i yes i decided to take a gap year, but i'm not just sitting here and sleeping waking up and doing nothing i have plans that i've placed in that i've put in order to make this year a a like a like a useful year like i, I, I don't know like what's the word to make it as productive as possible to make this as productive as possible i do have plans I, I really you can't just sit there and do nothing that's something that i wouldn't advise that you do but going back to what i was saying do it for yourself make sure that you're doing you're doing a trick for yourself make sure you're doing grade 11 for yourself make sure you're doing grade 10 for yourself make sure you're doing university for yourself because it will help you in the long run. You don't want to do this for other people. Let me tell you, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. So, the next point is picking your subjects. Right. Subject choice is really important in metric. And hence I said earlier on that this video is not only for metric. Unfortunately, when you're in metric, it's too late. Essentially, it depends. It depends. But I would say it's too late um, to change your subjects. But if you're watching this, you're in grade 10 and you're in grade 11, I would highly advise you, if you're doing subjects that you know you don't love, change them. Change them. I've seen a lot of my peers making that mistake of doing subjects that they really don't have the passion and the love for it. Let me tell you something. If you don't love something, if you, you choose a subject that you don't love, you, you're really not gonna put you and you're really not gonna enjoy it. Everything about that subject is going to piss you off from the teacher to your classmates in that subject to your books. Everything about that subject will piss you off. Make sure that you choose the subject that you love. And also, this is important that if you're in grade 10 or grade 9, do research. Go to people who are doing that subject. If you want, if you feel like you're interested in doing life science, go to people who are doing life science and ask them, how is it life science? What are you guys doing? Blah, 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 blah. Ask questions. Do research. Find knowledge so that you, you, you don't have, you don't assume that a subject is a certain way. Then you get there, it's a shock. You don't want to be shocked by the subjects that you have, you have chosen for yourself. You want to make sure that the subject that you have picked for yourself is accurate enough for you and for the person that you are. Do like me. I knew that I wanted to be in the entertainment industry. That's the first thing, right? And then I looked around and I said, okay, I want to do, for example, I took a paper and I said, okay, I want to do entertainment, right? Now, there's a lot in the entertainment. What do I really specifically want to do? Acting. Music. Producing. Writing. And directing. Right? I'm writing it all down. Right? Now, because I wrote it down, I look at the options that I have. Ne? I look at the op options that I have. They all led to drama. Dramatic arts. Then I chose dramatic arts as a subject because I looked at the things that I want to do in the future. So it's really important when you pick your subjects to make sure it's things that you love. Don't pick subjects because people are, are doing it. Because I'm, the, I'm for the, and the unfortunate truth about it is you're going to fail. Oh, you might pass, but you'll pass Gamma Dota score. 
you will pass with very low marks because you don't love that subject so make it really crucial and important that you pick a subject that subjects that you love and you know they're gonna help you in the future and another thing about picking subjects make sure you have a, a plan b make sure if for example i love music and i love i mean i love acting and whatever hence i picked that up but i knew i knew that if this thing might doesn't work out if this thing doesn't work out i can i have also geography in my subjects i can do pick another career path in geography because i also love geography i don't know if that makes sense so as i say to you guys make sure that you yes follow your first plan in pick your subjects according to your first plan but also make sure that your, your subjects allow you to have an other options in terms of your career path so the next advice that i would give is make sure that you do research on the universities that you want to go to it's crucial it's important and another thing and another thing i would advise that you actually make this decision earlier on as early as possible the reason why i say this is if i if you are planning to go to university the next year after doing metric you want to make sure that your aps score is equivalent to the course that you want to get listen to why i say this so when you do research about the universities that you want to go to and the courses that you want to embark on there's the, you you will also get the requirements that are needed for you to make it into that course now by getting those requirements that you're gonna need for that course it helps you to know the aps course the results that are required for you to enter that university enter that institution and do that course so before the first thing that you should do do research on the university that you want to go to do research on the course that you want to and in that course check the opportunities that that course can offer you in future right right and also have second plans now another thing about university planning universities make sure that you also do research about funding so you don't want to find yourself passing metric and you don't have the funds to go to university with meaning that you might you don't have the money to go to university with now i know that's beyond your control sometimes you you are born in a family that is less privileged and and whatever but there are opportunities out there for people who are less privileged there's nf there's nsfas there's bursaries there's scholarships there's there's so many opportunities for you f to find findings at funding at that all you have to do is to do research google search spend time trying to find the knowledge of where because because you can see your environment is not allowing or nobody will be able to find you to go to university what other ways and what other alternative ways can i do and can i use to find funding for me to be able to go to university i don't know if that makes sense and also what are requirements for me? what are the requirements that i have to reach and be able to present or give if should i choose those particular courses i mean should i choose those particular funding opportunities your bursaries your student loans your whatever so it's really important that when you enter metric university and funding now i am done with about um the basic like the other things so, so another point is priorities making sure that your priorities making sure in the beginning of your year that you write your priorities will assist you for example me this year my priority is youtube and other things that i don't i don't want to mention because as i told you on my first video but lawyer people be reaching so i don't want to jinx my stuff but i'm gonna make an example youtube traveling um time with the people that i love love and self care so these are some of my priorities right so you make you want to make sure in the beginning of the year that you write your priorities so that you you keep focus you don't lose direction so now in terms of what i would advise what were my priorities for me last year in the trip? It was YouTube, obviously, school, friends, and outings. 
now why you wanna have this your priorities now from having writing down the list of your priorities now you place them in order in order of importance obviously the first thing is gonna be school the second thing is gonna be youtube then friends then fam then friends and family then whatever 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 so the reason why it's important that you sort out your your priorities in order is so that you know where to spend more time in and which priorities are more important to you and another thing is the reason why you want to write your priorities is that it's going to help you to stay in focus pay attention in what can help you for the year so writing your priorities in the beginning of the year is as important as writing your goals in the beginning of the year now that's my other goal in the beginning of the year now that's another point of mine writing goals writing your academic goals it's important saying okay on life science i know i'm good at it i'm expecting a distinction meaning that it's 80 percent and above situana subject 70 percent english and 91 so forth and so forth when you write this goals when you write this subject goals it helps you to like it pushes you goals goals help you to like it pushes you same as priorities so it's gonna help you to push you so hence i say it's really important that you write your own like when you do your vision boards your goal setting for the year it's also also important to write your academic goals write them down it's important it's gonna help you to focus and have direction and know that this is what i want to do if you want to have false this have false distinctions in the tree write it down and write the subjects that you want to accumulate distinctions in right so it's really important that you write your 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 distinctions and write your goals it's going to help you to stay focused now so my next point which is one of the most important thing to do when you're in metric is to have a schedule oh my god guys have schedules it's near in place it's important schedules will help you to use your priorities to do to set your priorities right to set your goals right so i'm gonna make an example for me in my schedules i knew that it was important to spend time with my friends to have time for self-care to focus on school right that is what was important on my schedule for last year so what i would do is so i would say um i would look at my subjects and i would look at the subjects that are not performing well and i'll be like for example i'm gonna make an example it's not for me i'm making an example maths i'm gonna make oh i'm like oh maths is a little bit difficult for me so i would love in a week to spend more time with maths right you write it down you write the order in which you want to spend more time in the subject so you want to say so it might be maths life science english whatever whatever and the list goes on right and then now you know okay i want to spend more time on maths than life science because life science is easy for me to grasp and to understand so let me spend more time in this difficult subject then writing it down it helps you to set a schedule now how i go went about to say yeah, right okay that's the first thing and then time for friends and then i write can i i want to spend at least four hours in a week with my friends right write it down I say i want to spend two hours every day to myself self-care and doing self-care taking time for myself meditating and whatever and whatever and whatever, whatever and whatever right and write it down and say two hours now from there i would say take the first week of next week or take the this week by the time you're watching this video take this week look at your life so what you do say i have an extra class at mondays wednesdays and fridays which they all make me leave at school around half past three and arrive at home at half past four then you write so i arrive at home at half past four right and then right then you write okay i want an hour break where i eat settle in and whatever then you write your hour break right you write it and then you say from now that's after an hour it's obviously 5 30 meaning half past five then from 5 30 so and then maybe say up until half past seven 
you focus on your books now when you say books and homework and then you write it under homework and books now under this you also don't don't forget to also go back to your priority um to your goals and priorities and the list of importance and to say okay this is a subject that i want to spend more time in so with this time that i have for studying and i'm going to spend two hours of this time one hour of the two hours of this time doing mathematics one hour of this time doing lo uh, whatever no i don't you get me right then from there you also maybe add another break or you add chores some of us had to do chores so you add chores you know you're gonna do chores from half past seven up until half past eight then from there you go you have another two hours by the way i'm just speaking as about another two hours of 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 doing school work which is about from half past eight if i'm not mistaken half past eight to half past ten then from there you take a bath that's when your self care time self care time comes then it's from half past ten to half past eleven then you sleep at half past eleven then you know that you have to wake up at six so you know that and you also buy better about waking up okay and then you know that you wanna let me continue so you know you're gonna wake up at six right now it's also important when you set your schedule to also include your sleeping time you know your body you know how your body works you know that your body only needs six hours of sleep to function for the entire day so make sure that you have accumulated you have set that time for six hours for you to sleep so that we have a proper sleep and enough sleep so that it can be productive in the next day and then you know you wake up at six from six up until seven you bath and whatever and whatever get the rain from seven you eat breakfast and after seven you leave you go to school that, that makes sense so setting a schedule is really important it's going to make your life to be in order and also with the schedule you go back to your priorities if you're like me you said you want to include friends put it in right have time that is separate for your friends have time that is there for your self-care it's really important and another thing also with scheduling as i okay another thing is this is going to help as i mentioned this is going to help you to give you direction and this is going to help you to have order in your life right um so yeah also weekends plan your weekends properly it's important that you plan your weekends properly if you know that on saturday i'm gonna go out with my friends then that means on saturday you have to do your books and stuff so it's really important how like to set your schedule it's really important to use your weekends efficiently your holidays efficiently and etc now the other point that i want to make that will help you to get distinctions in metric try to read ahead of the teacher my life my life science teacher always said this to us she always showed the play the year plan and she showed us what like you knew what like, for example let me make an example let me say we are talking about the respiratory system right today and then tomorrow we're gonna go to um um evolution so you know because you read ahead for example, let me say tomorrow we're gonna to talk about evolution. So I go at home and study about evolution and do notes, right? Though, what that's gonna do if I study ahead of the teacher? It's going to help me when I get into class because I've studied it on my own. When I get into class, now my brain is gonna hear that thing two or third for the third time, right? For the second time and the third time. Now what your brain does when it hears things for the third and second time, it says, okay, it recognizes, okay, this is important. Then it stores it right so that means when exams comes you know you're not gonna spend uh, hours and hours studying it's just gonna, gonna feel like gonna be a revision because your brain already kept that information so now what you do you study it ahead now what other another benefit about studying ahead is there something that you don't understand about that topic when in class you start you guys are studying about that topic and you you can you know okay i don't understand um how the respiratory system works so I'm gonna ask my teacher the next day when when we do this topic. You write it down somewhere, and then when you guys do that topic, you take out those questions and you ask them in class. It might help the learners, and it also might help you. Then after that, I'm telling you, you've already understood the whole topic. You've already already understood the whole whatever that you were studying for. It's already you grasp it and it's in your head. Then you. When exams comes, because it's you already know it. You have you have trained your brain to know it. It's easy. You just revise through. You understand so studying ahead and being ahead of the teacher it helps a lot it does how my license teacher always preached that for to us and once i did it i saw that it would help so study ahead 
of the teacher read ahead of the teacher it's going to help you to grasp information it's going to help you to be ahead of time it's going to allow you more time to yourself it's going to allow you more time to do things study ahead of the teacher now the next point is it is important to take breaks i can't emphasize this enough it is important to take breaks it's important. It's also something that I'm also learning, even currently. Don't overwork yourself. Too much of a thing is bad. Make sure that when you get at home from school, you have an hour break. Make sure that in a month, you have a day, a full day to yourself. It won't hurt anybody if you spend the whole entire day without touching your books. It won't hurt anybody. So make sure that you take breaks you take time for yourself what i used to do to take time for break, i would take times for myself i would also go out with my friends it was important for me to go out with my friends it helped me a lot it helped me a lot to cope in a trick spending time with my friends taking breaks it, it's important it helps your mental health it helps your well-being I have a peer, I know of somebody who was so focused in metric, was so focused in doing metric so much that when we were done with metric, when it was the December holidays, she couldn't stay still. She couldn't stay calm because her brain is so used to waking, 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 that now she couldn't settle down. You understand? Now she, she can't take a break. She can't spend time with friends. She can't spend time with family. Because she's now so used to doing books and do, doing, doing books and reading books 24-7 that she now can handle herself. Now her mental, another thing she has to go through mental facilities to help, to help her to alleviate that problem. Guys, taking time for yourself, taking time for family breaks, it's important. This life is too short. As much as yes, you, it's also important to get your metrics and whatever and whatever. It's also important that you live your life. You enjoy your, your life. It doesn't mean when you're in metric, you don't have to enjoy life. Yes, there are sacrifices that you need to make, but do also have time where you go out. Now what I did is to make sure that I at least go out once a month. It's important. It's important. It helps your brain. It makes you, it refreshes your brain. It gives, it gives your time, it gives you, it gives your, like you give yourself some time to breathe. So it's important to take breaks. It's really crucial. So take breaks. Don't overwork yourself. Work smart. Now the last point in this, discipline. Be disciplined. If you don't discipline yourself, if you don't follow your goals, if you don't follow your schedule, if you don't follow your priorities, you won't make it. Being disciplined is important. If you write down that you say you're going to wake up at 6, bath, exercise, or exercise and then bath for an hour, do that. Stay on that schedule. Yes, sometimes life happens, things come, come your way that you need to focus on maybe for example i'm gonna make an example maybe your parents sends out sends you out to buy something and it takes away from your time you can adjust your you can adjust your schedule but try by all means to stay disciplined to stay in order to stay focused when it's time for you to be with your friends let it be time for you to stay with your friends when it's time to spend time on your books let it be time to spend time on your books when it's time for you to be with to help self can be with yourself let it be time to spend with yourself be disciplined having a schedule and being disciplined it's, it's two of the most important things on this list you don't you don't want to find yourself writing goals down writing your priorities and doing all this or doing all this work where you're setting your schedule and you don't follow it you, you have wasted your time what were you writing your schedule for be disciplined be disciplined this is one of the things the fields that i failed at being disciplined i failed this money at it you don't wanna feel it trust me be disciplined control yourself have self-control have self-awareness about your actions be disciplined stay in line stay focused trust me you will be thankful to yourself 
in anyways that's all the the things that i wanted to say to you guys and the tips that i wanted to give you guys the reason why i'm doing this video i have five friends that are in matrix and i was thinking about them when i did this video so that it helps them and it it they they, 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 they don't have the same problems that i faced but in anyways i really hope that you find this video useful if you have please do subscribe i do want to reach 50k at the end of the year and you guys have that 50k you guys are that 50k for me you guys by sharing by liking by commenting down below it will help the, it does help this channel a lot it will help me a lot to reach 50k at the end of the day at the end of the year um i do want to say these tips that i did are all because of the lessons that i've learned you also you guys also can add on if you guys have more tips that you want to add on please do leave them down below and also do add some things for yourself not all of these tips are gonna work for you but let it be a guideline to help you i promise you if you follow what i just said there's no way you're not getting these decisions in metric there is no way you're not getting you are not getting these digits in metric so i really hope that they have helped and yeah please do subscribe do go follow please go follow me on twitter i'm now a little bit active on twitter it's at old kingy also do go follow me on instagram it's also at old kingy and please subscribe like and if you don't have any tips that you want to add on down below please do just leave a crown down below that's how this channel is. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Kenyaman, aka Oking, and I really hope that this video has helped you a lot. Do not forget to have a conference call.